hello guys welcome back in today's episode we are going to learn about pop-up menus in android so we already learned about how to working with the context menus but the pop-up menu is not similar to a context menu because the context menu is based on some view components but the pop-up menu is not based on any view component so here in this episode i am going to create a simple android application that contain a pop-up menu also the pop-up menu is similar to a spinner view in android also the pop-up menu is available from android version 3.0 and above that means you have to set the project minimum sdk api level into 11 okay so start a new project in android studio with the minimum sdk version as 3.0 so for creating a pop-up menu uh, remove this text view so here I am going to add a button into this layout go to the XML version change the text of the button into login ok suppose this application has two type of user an administrator and a normal user so here I use a single button for the administrator and a normal user login so before going to before going to display the login activity we have to make sure that the user is an administrator or a normal user so here I am going to attach a pop-up menu into this button to check whether the user is an administrator or a normal user so before going to attach the pop-up menus first here we have to create some menu items so create a new menu resource file and i name it as pop-up actions click ok now we have to add some items first provide an id for this item using android id attribute I name it as id admin now we have to provide some title for this item using title attribute uh, I name it as login as admin ok now add one more item change the id into id user also change the title into login as user ok now we have two menu items first one is login as administrator and second one is login as a user so now go back to the activity main.xml file so here we add the login button we have to add some on click method for this button so here i am going to add an on click method i name it as show pop up now go to main activity we have to define that method here so public void show pop-up okay don't forget to add the view argument here so whenever user click the button we have to show a pop-up menu that has that need that need to have two item first one is login as administrator and second one is login as a normal user so here I am going to create a pop-up menu so we have to create an object of pop-up menu equal to new pop-up menu so this constructor need two argument first one is the context object and second one is the anchor view object so here the anchor view object is the button so here I pass the context object as this now we have to pass the anchor view object here here the view argument is the anchor view object that means the button object so pass the view argument ok now we have to inflate the menu xml file so we need an object of menu inflator 
So create an object of menu inflator equal to pop up menu dot get menu inflator. Okay, now we have to inflate the pop up menu. So use the menu inflator object dot inflate. First, you have to specify the menu XML resource. So add dot menu. The menu XML file name is pop up actions. Now you have to pass a pop up menu object. So here there is no argument that contain a pop up menu object. So we have to use we have to call the get menu method. So pop up menu dot get menu. Okay, and finally we have to show the pop up menu. So you have to call the show method. Okay, so when user press the button login button that will show up a pop up menu that contain two options. We can check it out. Now I am going to run the application. Okay, now the application is available on the virtual device. Now I just click the login button. Now this will show up a pop up menu that contain two options login as administrator and login as user. So now we have to learn about how to handle the click events of the options menu. So for handle the click events, you need to implement the on menu item click listener interface. So for handling the click events, here I am going to create a separate Java class. So create a new Java class. I name it as pop up menu event handle. pop up menu event handle and click OK. Now here I am going to implement that particular interface called on menu item click listener. So pop up menu dot on menu item click listener. And here you need to override some method. Implement the methods on menu item click and click OK. Now here we have the method on menu item click method. Okay, and finally, you need to register this pop up menu, this uh, interface on menu item click listener with, with our pop up menu. So, we have to register this pop up menu with the on menu item click interface. So, pop up menu dot set on menu item click listener. Yeah, you need an object of that class here. The class name is pop up menu event handle pop up menu event handle I name the object as pop up menu event handle equal to new pop up menu event handle and you need to pass that object ok now we have to handle the click events inside this menu, it, this method on menu item click method so for displaying a toast we need some context object here so here I am going to create an object of context so we need a constructor for this class so public pop up menu event handle and that contain some context object Name it as context. Okay, so now in this constructor we have to initialize the context object. So this dot context equal to context. Okay, now we have to handle the click events. So whenever user select an item on the pop up menu, if user select the login as administrator, we have to display some message. So first we have to check which item is actually selected by the user so you can you can find out which item is selected by the user from this argument menu item object so item dot get item id equal to r dot id dot 
ID admin. We have to display some message. Pass the context object. Login as admin. Make the toast into long and finally make the toast visible using show method. Okay, and return true. One more case is there. So else if item dot get item id equal to r dot id dot id user. We have it to display same toast. Login as user. Login as user. Now go back to main activity. So we need we have to pass some context object with the constructor. So here I use the get application context. Okay. Now we can check the project. So that's the application again. Okay, now I select the button. First, I select login as admin. Now, here is the toss login as admin. Now, I select login as user. Now, here it is login as user. So, this is how we use a pop up menu in Android. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.